you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. A special video because it is the first video on the channel for 2019. I have some big things that I hope happen this year. Have some goals, have some New Year's resolutions. I talked about that actually recently on the podcast with my brother. Um, so I'm, I'm fired up for this year. But before we get into anything like that, let's start the year off right with a workout. So that was actually a really good workout. Super stoked with how that felt. The For me, toes to bar have always been kind of like hit and miss. I usually have to stay with sets of like 10 or sets of five. And I was actually able to do all the sets of 10 unbroken so I didn't have to come off the bar. So that was super, like I'm really happy with that. That was like my biggest win probably for the day. And then the, uh, you know, the double unders went really well. The overhead squats really well. I really enjoy overhead squats. The way the workout was written, it was basically a 20 minute running clock. 12 minutes of that was the, the workout, the Metcon that you guys saw. And then eight minutes you had, you had to go straight into finding a one rep max power snatch. Power snatches are probably my absolute favorite movement. I just love doing them. I don't know what it is. They're just really fun for me. So I was super stoked that I was able to do those today because again, they're my favorite movement, but they felt really smooth today. And I was actually able to work up to 205 pounds. So that's like tying my one rep max power snatch. The most I've ever snatched is 217. So it's not that different. I almost got 215, but it just, I, I'm sure if I had another few attempts, I probably could have got it, and I probably could have done it after the workout, but I was just like, you know what, I'm done, I don't want to do that again. Uh, but I'm super stoked with how the whole workout was today, really happy with that. I'm going to shower, and then I think I'm going to go get a haircut, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay, so we are back from the barbers now, and we got the we got the haircut. I do want to say I apologize if you can hear some of the background music. Again, I am at a gym, so there's nothing I can really do about it. I'm not going to ask them to turn the music down. So hopefully, it doesn't bother you too much. So what I want to talk about now is why I'm sure a lot of you guys are here, because I'm sure I used it in the title or something like that. I want to talk about my new favorite word, influencer. If you've been following me at all on Instagram, you will see that I've been making a lot of posts and kind of just joking and making little jabs at people that call themselves, you know, online fitness influencers and, you know, kind of explaining why I'm not the biggest fan of that word and actually a lot of the people that consider themselves to be fitness influencers. So there's a couple posts I posted on Instagram that a lot of people were upset about. This is the first one. It was a, uh, you know, just a repost from Twitter and under it I wrote, <laughs> fit tea, fat burners, being an entrepreneur, buy this, buy that, and then some shrugs. So before we get into it, I wanna make it very clear that I really don't have an issue with you making money off of your following, or you know, your following helping you pay your bills. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that it's actually awesome and it's literally exactly what I do and I think that there is a way that you can do it that is beneficial for yourself, but then also the people that are following you. And that's what I, I really hope that I'm able to help people, you know, hopefully do, or at least help people like you guys that are watching this, be able to maybe see, is, does this person actually care about me? Do they actually want me to succeed or are am I just a way for them to pay their bills and for a lot of them they're making so much money not just pay their bills right am I just a way for to them for them to afford new Lamborghinis or buy a bunch of new stuff that's what I want that's why I'm making these posts because the thing is is like when it comes to influencers especially and, and when I'm talking about influencers most of the time I mean you know weight loss influencers because that's the space that I'm in I'm not really trying to attack other other people that do other things for me, I'm in the weight loss space when it comes to Instagram and stuff like that, right? So the fact of the matter is that there's people making a lot of money and they're 
completely lying to their followers. So that's the issue that I have. So that's why I wrote, you know, these these fit tees. If you're following a weight loss influencer and they start promoting a fit tee that one, you know for a fact they did not use to lose weight. And two, anybody in their right mind knows this fit tee is not going to help you lose weight, but this person is promoting it. They're making money off of promoting that. And in turn, they're basically, because what they have to post, right, is this helped me lose inches or whatever. They're making money off of lying to you. That is the issue that I have. I don't have an issue with you, you know, putting something out there that actually is helping people lose weight or whatever it might be. But when you are straight up lying to people and saying this thing works, that's the issue that I have. And now another thing, I've talked about this a million times, but another thing I brought up was the fat burners. Obviously I can't not talk about that. Honestly, like I think that the fit tees are a lot worse and like the wraps and stuff like that are a lot worse than fat burners. The reason that I have such a distaste for fat burners is literally because they're called fat burners. So if you're somebody that sees that and you don't know much, you're gonna see, oh, this thing is a fat burner. It's going to help me burn fat. Now, now, there are useful things in fat burns, right? There's caffeine, a lot of times they'll, they'll help you move around a little bit more, which will in turn help you burn a little bit more calories, but they're not actually burning fat. So that's why I, I really am not a fan of weight loss influencers, people that have lost a lot of weight promoting fat burners, because you know the general public is gonna see that and think, okay, I need that fat burner to have those results. That's why I have such an issue, that, so that's why I talk about them so much. And then the last part was the entrepreneur and I actually got a lot of people messaging me, people that are my friends <laughs> that were upset with me about saying that. For me, I just, maybe it's just me being sensitive and it, it probably is, but I think that it's a little ridiculous when every time someone posts, they have to talk about how they're an entrepreneur. The person I think about that I really love how they run what they do, my friend Craig, right? A lot of you guys probably know who that is. He is somebody, his brand Hustle Made has made they, they, they're doing so well. They have done absolutely amazing. I think the brand is awesome. I think that, I mean, they're growing exponentially, but he's not always talking about how, how much of an entrepreneur he is. He just puts in the work and the results show. So like, again, this is probably me just being sensitive, but when you're posting that you're an entrepreneur all the time, constantly, it's just, for me, I'm just like, it's a, it's a little ridiculous. And the second post is this one. I was actually wearing the hoodie that you guys saw this morning. Uh, it says, really excited to start 2019 embracing my job as an influencer. Use my code waste of money 20 for 20% off of detox teas, teeth whitening, and skin wrap. Thanks guys, hashtag why I have no friends. So honestly, I, I mean, I posted this because it's just, it's kind of fun because now it's, people like get upset with me, but I, the way I think about it is that like, if you're genuinely upset about the stuff that I'm saying, I think that says more about you than it does about me. So it's just kind of fun, like <laughs> ruffling some feathers, I guess. But on this one, I actually got some really good comments that I wanted to reply to. I replied to in the comments, but I wanted to reply to on video because they're, they're seriously good points that the person made. So I want to explain myself on them. First one was, I swear I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just wondering what happened um, when you changed your mind about all this. There used to be quite a bit of peddling products on your page, Quest, Gamma Labs, hosting diet bets. Why make fun of people who do exactly what you did? Um, why was it okay for you so long, but now it's not? So for me, I used to promote Quest a lot, Gamma Labs, and then with diet bets. We'll talk about diet bets at the end because that's kind of a weird topic for me. But with Quest, that was literally like I used to eat Quest Bars as I was losing weight. There was something that I used my whole journey before I was ever connected with them, I was using Quest Bars. So when they hit me up, it just made sense to me because I actually really enjoyed the product. So I was like, absolutely, let's do that. And the reason that I've stopped actually promoting them was because I stopped using them. I stopped, you guys know that I don't eat dairy, I don't eat any whey protein, that stuff just doesn't sit well with me. So I'm not gonna promote something that I don't use anymore. So that's why I stopped promoting that. I genuinely don't have an issue with people promoting stuff that they actually like and they actually use and they actually believe in. Protein bars and protein powder, I think that it works. It's protein, right? I don't have an issue with that. And then with Gamma Labs, again, I've always used pre-workout. I've liked pre-workout before I worked out. so. It just made sense. I really liked the flavors. I thought it, it tasted good, but I stopped really using them very much. So I just let them know like, hey, that I'm not using the product anymore. I don't really want to promote it. And so we cut ties there. So that was the, you know, that's what happened there. Diet bets, that's a whole nother story. And that's one that I'm honestly, I, I'm, I'm bummed out that I 
was promoting that because I have some feelings that I'm gonna explain now. Before we get into that, I think that there is a way to do diet bets that can be beneficial for everyone involved. But for me, I just know that I didn't really feel comfortable and I don't feel comfortable with the way that you make money. So if you're not familiar with what a diet bet is, basically an influencer will like set up this diet bet and to enter you have to pay in to get into it, right? So usually it's like about $30. So you pay in $30 and you're saying at the end of a month, you are going to lose 4% of your, I think it's overall body weight. So if you lose 4% of your body weight, you end up getting money back plus a little bit of money. So usually you end up coming, coming out of it with like 45 50 dollars so you make 15 to 20 bucks doing the diet bet something that a lot of people don't know is that the person that sets up the diet bet usually gets between 10 and 20 percent of the overall pot and if you guys have ever done diet bets you know that they can go from like ten thousand dollars up to like one hundred thousand dollars so that there's influencers that are making one thousand to ten thousand dollars doing these diet bets again there's nothing wrong with that but the thing that was just weird to me was the only way that you can make money off of a diet bet is by people failing. And so for me, again, this is just my, these are just my thoughts. This is why I don't do them. But for me, I didn't feel good about making money off of basically other people failing. So I'm honestly not sure if, if people know that the people that are hosting diet bets are making that much money off of them. And again, there are some great hosts that really, you know, spend time in because there's like a diet bet page that it's its own like group of people that are super supportive of each other. And there's there's ways that you can set up, you know, you can earn things for being in the diet bet. And I think there are ways to make it so people have the best chance of actually winning and getting some money back. But there are also people that just set up the diet bet, don't do anything, and then they make thousands of dollars off of that. Again. That's just my thoughts. I am not trying to say anybody that di does diet bets is a bad person, but those are my thoughts on them and that's why I don't re I'm I'm just not very comfortable, you know, having my own diet bet. So moral of the story is honestly, I've made some mistakes and I've learned from those and so that's why I kind of talk about this. So I am definitely not perfect and I'm not trying to say that I'm perfect, but I think th all of the things that I, you know, I've been through and the things that I've learned and what I've seen with people, that's why I'm, I feel so strongly, you know, about these things as I do. So that's why I Kind of talk about them again i'm not trying to shame anybody or trying to like make a mob mentality to attack people but this is just how i feel and i, do, I don't think people realize that they are they can be getting taken advantage of, of by these influencers and so that's why i feel the way that i do i am very 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 grateful of the position i'm in and i always want to make sure that i am i'm being as respectful of the platform that i have and I genuinely just wish other people would do the same. Uh, a lot of people, it seems like they get the platform and then they realize I can make a lot of money off of this platform and that's all they start to care about. Again, there's nothing wrong with making money off of your platform, but I don't think it should be your one and only goal. Um, especially if you're a weight loss influencer. I think that you should focus on, you know, why you even got the following that you do, you do have, and you should try and be respectful of that, especially when you know that a lot of the people that are probably following you are very, very, um, they don't know much about weight loss, they're very naive, and they will believe what you say because you are the person that has achieved what they want. And so that's why I feel so strongly, and that's why I post about it, and that's why I have a lot of people in my DMs that are friends of mine that are very upset at me right now. But again, at the end of the day, I care more about the people that are you know, following me and, and really trust me for my opinion than I do about people that you know are making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of their followers. So if this video was able to explain you know, how I feel about influencers, I'm not trying to stir the pot a bunch, I'm not trying to get a bunch of people like riled up, I'm just trying to explain myself. I don't think I really wanna talk about this very much more in the new year, I wanna focus on positivity, but at the same time, I wanna be real and, and let you guys know what's going on. So you know, those are my thoughts, that's why I you know post about the things that I post about, and that's why I feel the way that I do. So I, mean, I would love to hear your stories, if you have stories, about you know things you've tried that maybe didn't work out or just you know stories in general or what your thoughts are about everything that I said I would love to hear that I would love to hear what other people are thinking that aren't like you know influencers that are just people that are you know being you know following these people and maybe you've noticed changes or whatever I don't know I don't know how you feel I would love to hear about that but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe there was one other thing that I wanted to say oh yeah look up if I am <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. <laughs>